returning from war can suffer from mental fatigue and problems just like humans do. Some of these bomb-sniffing dogs have since retired from the military after serving in Iraq and Afghanistan. Today, they're just trying to live a dog's life. In this story, we visit with one hero dog who served his country and companion well while in Afghanistan. The dog's name is Staff Sergeant Helotus. He has been to war. He has worked long days, survived rocket blasts and firefights, and found lots of IEDs. We went through a lot of different situations, you know, I find IEDs, explosions. Uh, Helotus wound up getting rocketed one night and hit her, hit her hooch. When dogs return from Afghanistan, like Helotus, they suffer from a lot of the same struggles that humans face. Helotus wasn't performing well at work and was having trouble adjusting to being back from war. He would get frightened, start shaking, and become immobilized. In short, he had PTSD. Come on, boy. So for medical reasons, Helotus was allowed to retire, and his handler, Sergeant Justin Haggerty, adopted him. Bless you, boy. Now life for Helotus is full of family, food, and relaxing on his own, well-deserved personal couch. After we got back, I wasn't going to keep him. I was going to let another handler take him. And I, I couldn't do it. I had to keep him best friend. He's my best friend. Today is a special day for both man and dog. As his handler gets promoted, so does Sergeant First Class Helotus. After all they have been through, still side by side, their friendship and the story of their bond continues. For Army Broadcasting, I'm Specialist Johnny Hudson.